Hey guys, so I've had a few questions lately about how I mount my GoPro to my wing. So stay tuned for this one because we're gonna talk about the GoPro Max today, how to mount it to your wing and get those really sick foiling shots. Lately, I've been using the GoPro Max 360 camera. Um, been really cool for wing foiling. There's a few things that I really like about it that make it really advantageous to use on the wing. The reason I've been loving the GoPro Max lately is because it's a 360 camera. It's got a lens on the front and on the back. So it gives you a full 360 degree field of view, super wide angle shot. So we can fit our whole body in head to toe. We can get most of the wing in the shot. We can get our whole board in the shot and everything. It gives you the full perspective and it's amazing for wing foiling. In this video guys, I'm gonna show you how I mount my 360 Max camera to my wing foil. The most important part of my GoPro setup is the pole, and particularly with the Max. The GoPro Max 360 camera can automatically crop out the pole. So as long as it's straight and the camera is mounted straight, you won't even see this pole. So it's kind of like magic and the shots look absolutely insane. So this is a pole that I use for most of my wing foil footage. It's a 90 centimetre piece of PVC sprinkler pipe. Um, it's got the end caps that come with the sprinkler pipe on the end. I glue those on. Um, and from online, I've ordered some of these aluminium GoPro mounts and they've got the quarter inch thread in the bottom and I've bolted those straight through the end caps here and I've sealed it all with some two pack glue so water can't get in. Uh, this is totally buoyant, it floats. So if I happen to lose this off my wing while I'm in the ocean, it will float. I've got some colored heat shrink on the end so I can easily identify it in the water, but luckily that hasn't happened yet. Um, so yeah, it's pretty simple. This is my homemade pole. Everyone asks, where do you get your pole from? I made it myself. So I've actually got another one as well that I use sometimes for prone. And this one's about 60 centimeters as well. So the same setup, I use this for prone foiling, comfortable handle, GoPro on the end. It allows you to get it right away from you, gives you a big field of view, and it allows you to get some really sick shots. Okay, so now we've got the GoPro mounted to the pole. The most important part of this is that the GoPro sits exactly straight and that's how it allows the GoPro Max software to crop out the pole magically from all of your shots. So if we tilt the GoPro like this, we're actually gonna get the pole in the shot. So the key is to have it absolutely dead straight, keep the pole as thin as possible. No matter which way you point the pole, the GoPro is getting a full 360 degree field of view. Later on when we edit the footage, we can change where the GoPro is actually looking. It's pretty amazing. Okay, so we're gonna pump up the wing now and I'll show you my favorite ways to mount this to your wing. Okay, so the first mounting point for me that I'm gonna show you today is on the front leading edge here. This has a few advantages. It keeps the GoPro further away from the water, which is great because the GoPro Max is a little bit prone to water drops, which can be pretty frustrating. So if we mount it up on the front leading edge here, it keeps the GoPro really high up. It gives us a really cool point of view looking back at us riding. Um, it looks pretty sick. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how I mount the GoPro to the front leading edge of my wing. I use a little Velcro tether strap like this, or you could use a zip tie or something similar. I had a few of these Velcro straps lying around from various things and they come in really handy. These Smic wings have got really solid handles which are great for mounting things too. They keep your camera rock solid, doesn't wobble around too much. Okay, so I take the GoPro pole and I slide it through the front handle on my wing. And what I'm gonna do is use this Velcro strap to connect it to my second handle. So I hold it against it, I take the Velcro through and I strap it up nice and tight. That locks it in place. So the second handle on the wing and the front handle hold the GoPro pole super solid. So I flip it over. Okay, so this is the GoPro Max mounted on the front leading edge of my wing. So one advantage of mounting the GoPro on the front leading edge here is that you can actually reach the camera, turn it on and off when you need to. You can see the screen and see that it's recording properly, which is pretty important. So this gives us a really sick angle where we get everything in head to toe. We get our full board in the shot. We get most of the wing in the shot. We can spin the camera around and look ahead of us. One of my favorite ways to mount the GoPro Max to my wing. But one of the small disadvantages with having it mounted on the front here is that it can get wrapped up in your leash a little bit. 
Okay, this is my second way that I like to mount my GoPro Max to my wing foil, and this is probably my favorite way. It's right at the back of the strut, at the trailing edge of the wing. This gives my favorite perspective. Underneath the wing, it shows you up ahead. If you're riding waves, it gives you that down the line perspective. Okay, so to make this angle work really well, and to support the GoPro properly, I've done a little tweak to my wing, um, and now whenever I get a new wing, it's the first thing I do. Okay, so on all of my wings now, I sew in this little loop here. It's just an old piece of strap webbing that I had lying around. Um, I'll make a loop about this big, and I'll show you why this comes in really handy soon. So we use the same small Velcro strap that we used for the last one. Um, again, you could use a zip tie or something similar. This uh, small Velcro strap comes in perfectly handy for this. So I take it and I put it on the, the last handle on my wing here. I keep it loosely there. Okay, so we take the GoPro Max and the pole, we feed it through the loop that we stitched into our wing, and then I tuck it through this Velcro strap, I tighten it up nice and tight, and that's it. So this loop will take the weight of the GoPro. So once the wing is flipped back up the right way, the GoPro hangs off this loop and it's supported at the front here by our Velcro strap and that's strong enough, it's never fallen off. If it does, it floats, but so far so good. All right, and then we flip it over. Okay, so one disadvantage of mounting the GoPro here is that it's actually impossible to reach the camera. So I use a small GoPro remote and I mount it up on one of these front handles or you can also put it on your wrist and that way you can control the camera from the GoPro remote. So this is my favorite way to mount the GoPro Max to my wing. Now, as you can see, the GoPro pole is way out the back of the wing here and this gives us that really sick point of view experience where you can see the full wing, we can look forward, we can spin the camera around and look backwards and follow our mates. This is for sure my favorite angle with the GoPro. So the only disadvantage to this angle, of course, is that it's lower to the water and we get quite a few water drops on the GoPro. So you've got to be prepared to ruin a few shots here and there thanks to those pesky water drops. But for the ones that you get, it can give a super sick angle. I hope you enjoyed this video. Just a few tips on how to mount your GoPro Max to your wing so you can get those really sick onboard angles. If you like the content, feel free to hit that subscribe button. The wind's just come up, guys. I've got to get out there now. I look forward to seeing you soon. Take it easy, guys. See ya. Is that cool? Yeah. Oh, I went so good and then I went cool. Let me just think for a second. Yeah, I think that's cool. Oh my God, the sun's back. The most important port. <laughs> Why? That a bit better? Yeah. Cool. Um, that sounded pretty weird and it got bright for a second. Um, blah, 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 blah. Uh, um, what else do I need to do?